stated, we are mailing voter registration material. However, the application forms come directly from the Secretary of State's office with no fields pre-marked. The individual should contact the Secretary of State, which takes these violations of election law extremely seriously, and they will investigate using the unique serial number. And the couple says they did reach out to the Secretary of State's office and couldn't get a hold of anyone. Also reached out to the San Diego Registrar of Voters, which told them to contact Covered California. Preston Phillips, 10. Yeah, who would have thought? Who would have thought that this would have been used for political purposes? It's just so surprising, isn't it? Actually, that's been the purpose all along. It's been to benefit the Democrat Party, demagoguing, trying to profit on the idea that you're going to get something at the expense of your neighbor. At the same time, they can reward their corporate backers. You know, Obama spent over a billion dollars to get elected this last time. Do you think he had some people that he needed to pay off? When you look at the explosion and what we're spending on just the presidential race, it's very evident that there is graft and corruption. You know, as I think, uh, I forget who it was that said it, but an election is an advanced auction of stolen goods. And that's exactly what we're seeing with Obamacare. And people wonder why they're getting their hours cut, wonder why they're not getting pay raises, wonder why they're getting put on part-time basis, even a small part-time basis, because they've redefined work down from full-time as being 40 hours to 30 hours. So you've got these poor people that are especially down at the bottom of the scale. In order to get an insurance coverage that probably doesn't address their needs, a Cadillac policy that is going to require people like single males to get maternity coverage, that's the sort of thing that is costing people so much money in Obamacare. That's what we're talking about when we say that this is a massive transfer of wealth from the American public to the insurance companies, forcing us to get insurance that we don't need, paying much higher prices than we need. And they're wondering, many people are wondering why they're not getting these jobs, these raises, why there are layoffs in the businesses. They don't understand how this comes back around. Now, we've also seen some good news in the last uh, few days. We've seen that Trey Gowdy, and this is someone who is a uh, congressman, Republican congressman from South Carolina, is threatening to hold the IRS commissioner in contempt for withholding the learner emails regarding persecution of Tea Party organizations. IRS Commissioner John Kuskinen is being threatened with contempt of court unless he produces the IRS official Lois Lerner's emails by the end of this week. And what he says is all we want are emails to or from Lois Lerner. I'm not talking about private taxpayer information. And, he, and this is the key thing that he says right here. One of the reasons they don't answer our subpoenas is they don't fear any consequences. Yes, that's what's happening in government, whether you're talking about IRS agents or bureaucracies, or you're talking about out-of-control police departments in Albuquerque, New Mexico. They don't answer subpoenas. They fear no consequences. That's something I've never been able to explain to you, is why we don't stand up for our institutions anymore, said Trey Gowdy. Well, Congressman Gowdy, if you will stand up to the IRS, you will become an instant folk hero. What are you waiting for? Let's do it. Somebody pick up the mantle. I mean, it's just laying there on the floor for whoever is going to pick this up. This is a story from the Daily Caller. I certainly hope that this week he will do it because I honestly don't think there is any chance that Lois Lerner is going to respond to that. Now, at the bottom of the scale, we see over and over again, it's not just in Albuquerque, but it's in other places. We have a police canine attacks an innocent 72-year-old man in his own yard. See, at the very bottom, starting from the police at your local government, they're totally unaccountable, all the way up to the IRS commissioner. This is a 72-year-old who was bitten on the arm as he worked in his yard. This is in Orlando, Florida. He said, when I got to the corner of the house, the dog leapt at me. And he wasn't so angry about the dog that bit him, causing his arm to bleed, but he said... It was the officer's handling of the situation. He told me to go inside even though I was bleeding. He's supposed to have control of the dog. He's not supposed to just let that dog wonder where people are. But see, doesn't even get an apology. Doesn't get control of it. These are the police and the government from bottom to top is just as out of control as a vicious dog. We're going to be back with some more information about what happened in Albuquerque, and we're going to be taking your call. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. 
21-year-old female and had a heart attack in 2005. This is Alice from New Jersey. I still get angina, even with four stents. I was taking nitro two or three times a week. The very first day after taking heart and body extract, the chest pain was gone. Now I don't wear a nitro patch. Learn the secrets of an effective, natural, 100% organic nutritional supplement for a healthy heart and circulation at hbextract.com. Today is the last day to get free shipping on every order over $150 from Emergency Essentials. And that's not all. We have the guaranteed lowest prices anywhere, like our new Farmer's Market Vegetable Combo that's on sale for 50% off. That's six cans of freeze-dried veggies for only $79.99. Or get Mountain House Pork Chops for 22% off. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or click BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Every day it becomes more clear our nation is headed towards an uncertain future nothing can ensure your family's security like an atlas survival shelter the strongest money can buy and designed to be buried up to 42 feet deep with all the comforts of home and all the protection you need bulletproof hatches tamper resistant air pipes and a unique ground design that'll withstand a bomb see them today at iwantthatbunker.com or call 1-855-4-BUNKER atlas survival shelters better prepared than scared this is Steve Shank. The St. Patrick's Day earthquake could be the forerunner to the big one. Still got fires in the west, still got winter in the east. Now the flooding has started in the Midwest with a vengeance. Millions of you have heard me tell you that every expert survivalist knows preparation is his most important skill. When you're surprised by a storm, a quake, a flood, it's too late. What you've got is all you're going to get, and it's usually not enough for 93% of Americans. Here's some help. Please go to fearlessusa.com and download my free emergency survival guide. With each emergency checklist, you'll see the problems you may never have imagined and the solution. Go to fearlessusa.com on the web or call 855-918-3663 for Steve Shank's free emergency survival guide. This is good stuff you absolutely need to know. Go to fearlessusa.com on the web or call 855-918-3663 for your free emergency survival guide. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, and we've got a lot of callers that want to talk to us about what's going on in Albuquerque. And I think in general about the police. To bring you up to date as to what happened yesterday, there were riots at the end of the day that actually started out as a peaceful protest in Albuquerque. Uh, it was put forward by Anonymous, who said that uh, we're tired of this. Let them know that your city is not a place for war games against the homeless and the less fortunate. Now, this is in response to the shooting the death of homeless man James Boyd. He was illegally camping out in the hills of Albuquerque. He was confronted by the police. 
And he's a homeless guy. He's not necessarily altogether there, but he did absolutely nothing that would threaten these police. They're at a distance. They've got guns drawn on him. They've got a dog. They stick the dog on him. It was absolutely disgusting. I, we've had it up at uh, InfoWars. The entire video is up there. Not the edited mainstream media version of the video. Look at the entire video. How they shoot this guy when he's got his hands up and he turns with his back to them. After he's telling them, okay, I'm going to leave just as we talked about. Don't do anything. And they shoot him in the back. Then they stick the dog on him. Then they come over and step on him. The guy's not dead yet. He did eventually die. Outrageous what they did. And, of course, the immediate response of the police chief is, no problem. This is a police department that since 2010 has had 37 shootings, 23 of them fatal. They've had more shootings than the New York Police Department, even though New York City is 16 times larger. They've had something like four times the national average in terms of shootings. The Justice Department was already investigating them before this happened. So there was a lot of, there was a riot this uh, week. I, I keep calling it a riot. It ended in a riot. It was actually a protest. Went on for 10 hours. Over 500 people. Now that's the media's estimate of it. I'm sure it was much more than that. After it got down to about 100 people, that was when things got violent. Now, there's a, if you want to see the pictures of the people involved, daily, the Daily Mail uh, is always good about pictures. You can see the picture of the man that was murdered. You can see the killers, the two cops who are basically being exonerated by the police department. And then, of course, you can also see some pictures of the riots there. They say that as night fell and they got down to about 100 people, that's when the police started using tear gas on the group and making arrests. They say that it got out of hand, it got violent. But this is how the Daily Mail, you can look at the pictures there, but when they describe the situation, they say the officers were attempting to effect a felony arrest using less than lethal weapons, including a distractive device, a canine and a taser shotgun. That's what the police chief said. That is not true. I don't think that illegal camping is a felony arrest. But if you shoot somebody, if you're a civilian, it's only justified if that person is coming at you. If somebody breaks into your home and is coming at you, you are entitled to protect yourself, to shoot them. But if that person is running away from you with your TV under his arm or your computer or whatever under his arm, and he's no longer a threat to you, and you shoot him in the back... That's murder. That's what the police did. They were not being threatened by this guy. Now, they say in the Daily Mail that authorities said that he threatened to kill a crisis intervention team officer who was called to the scene and that the video footage shows an injured Boyd with two five-inch knives in his hands when officers surrounded and handcuffed him. I didn't see that in the video. You take a look at the video. You take a look and see if you see that. I'd like for you to, to see if you can see any knives in the guy's hand. Because I guarantee you, if you watch that video, you are going to be outraged. And you should be. And so the question is, what do we do about out-of-control police? Do we as citizens just pay the bill to their families after they kill people and hope that it isn't us? Hope that it isn't our family? But we just pay for the lawsuits that are now like up to $24 million, I think, in, um, in Albuquerque? for the unjustified deaths of these people? Is that our response, or do we take some other kind of action? Let's go to Kyle in Pennsylvania. Kyle, what do you think about this? Well, hey, Mr. Knight, and uh, I think everything that you said is spot on, and I have to preface it, everything I say, by saying that not all police are like this, but I think the main issue is that the police have a certain feeling of separation from the population, and they feel that they are somehow entitled to a different set of laws. And they don't Where do you think that comes from? Where do you think that uh, separation, that entitlement is coming from? Well, I mean, I'm sure that, you know, in the academy they're taught that, you know, every time you go out on the street, your life is in danger. And, you know, stranger danger, bad guy could be lurking around every corner and that every mom with a stroller could have a bomb in there. Well, yeah, actually, they put out no hesitation targets. Homeland Security did. It's coming from the federal government, Kyle. That's the people that are putting this out. They're militarizing the police. They're telling them that we're a threat to them. We're going to be right back. Hang on, Kyle. We'll pick you up on the other side. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. 
Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planet.